We're interested in human health. We're interested in a unique type of stem cell, induced pluripotent stem cells, uh, or iPSCs as we like to call them. And these induced pluripotent stem cells are fascinating because we can make them from any body. What we do is we take a skin cell, as an example, from an adult, any age, put it in the Petri dish, and we give it certain factors and chemicals that make it go back in time to a pluripotent state. It's pretty much going back to being an embryonic stem cell again. And the embryonic stem cell in that state is immortal. We can make it grow forever. And those are the cells we're very excited about because they'd be your cells. So they're personalized to you. So if we transplant them back, let's say into your heart, we make heart cells from them, those heart cells should not reject. Now the key is how do we make those heart cells efficiently? And that's where zero gravity comes in. The future is in space. The future technologies are in space. A lot of the things that we want to do with cells, stem cells in particular, are maybe a lot better done in space. And the reason is the lack of gravity. The gravity pulls these cells in a certain direction. It turns out in zero gravity, that effect is no longer there. The, the stress is not there of pulling on the cells the whole time. And under those conditions, we think they're going to grow better. Uh, they may grow faster. And when we try and turn them into the critical cells we need for healthcare, they may do it better. And that's what we're going to try and understand from this mission. We have one experiment going on on Earth, and we have exactly the same experiment going up in the space station, and we'll be monitoring both of those experiments in parallel. It's like a sister or a twin study. The question is, what's different about the ones that were grown in zero-G versus the ones that were grown for four weeks on Earth? And the key thing is that we might not need to grow all our cells in space. We may understand the biology. Maybe there's a protein or a gene that's specific to them growing in zero-G, and we can learn that maybe we make that protein or gene in the cells on Earth, and we'll mimic the effect of space. Now, this is all discovery. This is all very exciting. It's very pioneering in the sense that people haven't tried to grow these cells at zero-G. And I'm very excited to see what we, what we get back. I mean, this is, a, this is the, the purest and most beautiful form of science, <laughs> uh, where you have a question, we're going to see if they grow better up on the space station at zero-G, bring them back, and to understand more about how to, how to grow these cells better. And again, the mission at Cedar sinai is, is patient health and well, well-being. And we think, although it seems a little disconnected from what we do at the hospital, Actually, this is where the future might be. It's understanding how these cells grow in space or how they can grow better will allow us to enhance our ability to grow these cells and use them to transplant into patients in the future.